Welcome to this episode of Leadership Matters, a video series highlighting the stories, experiences of global leaders and providing some valuable leadership lessons. The series is hosted by Avinash Ananda, a recognized leadership advisor, happiness strategist and a motivational keynote speaker. Over the course of more than 30 years, Avinash has personally mentored more than 1000 leaders and trainers. He has also trained more than 1 million individuals from all walks of life in 30 countries. Our special guest for today's episode is Sajid Kumar, the distinguished CEO and MD of Howden UAE. With a rich tapestry of experience and a strategic vision that transcends industry norms, Sajid has steered Howden UAE through a remarkable journey of growth and innovation. Upon assuming the role of CEO at Howden UAE in 2018, Sajid embarked on a mission to redefine the company's standing in the market. Under Sajid's leadership, the organization witnessed a transformative facelift, elevating its market presence and positioning it among the top brokers in the region. Welcome to yet another episode of Leadership Matters. Hi Sajid, how are you? Hi Avinas, it's a pleasure to be in touch with you. I'm really doing well, thank you. <laughs> you're in Dubai, and you're in the clouds. I'm in Dubai, wonderful place, very positive. You know, I mean, you just look around, you will see so much of activities. It's positivity all over. So the right place, I guess. You the what is behind you is the logo or what is it? I meant you're in the clouds but it looks like you're in the sky somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Howden logo. I I wear it close to my heart, you know, it's uh I love to keep it as a background whenever I speak to somebody. So we maybe a year back we rebranded Howden globally and uh, it has come out very well. The uniqueness of the brand is it blends anywhere you know i mean so the brand yeah. can go with whatever you want to so we've got a lot of varieties and i keep changing it <laughs> it looks like you're on cloud 9 all the time huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so let's let's go with how did huh? and uh, uh, tell us how uh, how how did you uh, uh, a little bit about your journey your leadership journey how did you land where you are you are from you are originally from kerala then you were went to chennai then you came to dubai what what is the journey been like yeah i think i've been a hardcore insurance and risk management professional all out so you know you talk to the insurance professional most of them would say that you know i landed insurance uh, by accident uh but i chose the profession i you know i really chose insurance as my profession at a very young age um i started my career in insurance when i was just 17 um so i'm now less than 50 but i've got 32 years in the industry you know which is uh, to me one thing which i really love doing you know that's what really makes me what i am um you know i think as an industry what we do for the whole world uh, keeps me really really interested and you know passionate towards what what we do deliver for clients communities and colleagues all over the world um so i have not tra- traveled a lot i was like in different companies you know i was in india i was with a national company and then i decided i need to pursue more on insurance so i those days in 2001 and odd i searched for a job i came to gulf i landed in gulf with a sheer passion that i need to learn more in insurance because you know with the kind of money you make in india you cannot learn insurance so i wanted to pursue cii and that was my first dream and i wanted to land in a job which will give me enough money to pursue my education but it so happened that um, you know uh, another company which is global leaders in broking looked at my talent picked them up and i was there for 15 years i became a ceo at very young age uh, 35 or so i was leading the country um until i got this opportunity in howden 6 years back you know i think uh, that was when i moved to dubai and uh, i was in muscat before um mm-hmm. i moved to dubai and you know it it's just fascinated me uh, to see the owner of this company david howden i mean if you google him you know he's a very popular person the kind of passion he carries just just for howden but as an industry the way mm-hmm. he carries on really really i wanted to kind of work with somebody like him and i signed up for this we created a brand in dubai and howden was not present here was present but you know i think the brand was not really that popular but for me the it was about years? 
You didn't yeah, the last we years? are present here for 20 plus years, but you know, Howden was not seen in the retail market. And my job mm-hmm. was to bring them um, and showcase what we can do. So which mm-hmm. needed a bit of a strong push in terms of bringing the right people into it. Um, to attract the right talents, bring the right people in, start mm-hmm. winning the right clients and start making impact. Um, you know, pretty much what Howden was doing globally. And, you know, David Howden is a great leader. He leads by example. You know, I think as a company, we have grown from three people and a dog literally, um, um, 30 years back to 17,000 people today um, with a revenue mm-hmm. more than premiums more than $37 billion. So it's a beautiful, you know, motivation for anybody like us to kind of see that and just emulate it. That's what we're doing. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So what is it that that David Howden has that you would like to have and you don't have yet? I think I, I mean, and very hard of qualities, to kind of... In terms of qualities, not in terms of the billions. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think it's uh, passion. I mean, it's second to none. I've not seen anybody this passionate. I mean, he's just passionate about the whole industry and what we can do um, to our community. You know, it's just like, mm-hmm. he, I don't think he ever sleeps. He always thinks of innovation and how can we reach out to different people. I think that's what we all are kind of, that's the kind of benchmark that we all want to achieve in our life. What does... How did you say? I don't know why I'm focusing on how did so much, but why? What does how did you say? Or what does your you're married, right, Sajid? Yeah, I am. Your what does your wife say? Or what does how did you say? Or what does somebody who knows you say? That is the uh, quality that Sajid has that stands out for them. Like you said about how did you spoke about his passion, right? right? His ability to innovate. Yeah. What is what does this say about you? I think I'm very genuine. I know. I mean, I think people will say I'm really hardworking. Uh, people, I mean, if you ask people who know, I'm very straightforward. Um, I'm honest to people. Um, but more important of all this is uh, similar to uh, what we were discussing. I think it's my passion towards this industry that stands out. So I right. believe like, uh, you know, I mean, that's what keeps me really awake in the night. That's what uh, really brings the best in me. Um, and uh, because we have still a lot to do as an industry, you know, I think one of the most underrated industry. And that's where I see the opportunity for all of us in the industry to kind of. How many people, Sajid, I'm so sorry for interrupting you, but how many uh, people in your organization right now? Is it 17,000 here? Or is it uh, globally, worldwide? globally 17,000. How, how, many, how many you are managing? How many people are you managing? In Dubai, we grew from 50 to 225 today. So we have kind of grown uh, over a period of five years, um, okay. which is substantial from the kind of broking in it we have. You know, we have we have built a good team. So it's all about getting sure, the right sure. team. So we're 200 plus five officers. Uh, Congratulations. In yeah. Thank you. Uh, Sajid, uh, you've, you've come this far. There's a long way to go. Uh, many more uh, clouds to 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 fly beyond. Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, were the difficulties along the way? Were there challenges? And uh, how do you, as a leader, congratulations, you won an award for leadership once again. Hmm? I heard you. about that, the white page thing. Thank you. Uh, yeah. How do you, as a leader, handle challenges? Look, I think uh, challenges should come. I mean, if there's no challenges, that means you're in a comfort zone. And I don't believe in that at all. You know, I think we, we if there is no challenges, something is wrong. And I keep telling my team, embrace challenge because that's when your best of you comes in. Um, and I've always faced challenges, but you know, I, I do feel that whenever you have uh, mountains on your way, just move it. You know, sheer hard work, teamwork. Um, you know, I think definitely that's pleasure. You know, you don't see it as a stress. The moment you see challenges as stress, you, I think the negativity starts creeping in, and you will it will overburden you. I mean, I be coaching the team to look at challenges with positivity, but that's an opportunity for you to also shop in your skills and come out of the comfort zone. How do you use fear as a leader? I don't use fear as a leader. I'm more a person who would uh, use uh, more motivation than fear. I would say, you know, I would want people to kind of be associated with with the objective. What what does success look like? And, and how can you contribute towards that success more than fear? Fear, to me, doesn't bring the best results. You know, fear would bring more negativity, defenses, and it doesn't really help. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely, lovely. Super. So, you're a dad? I'm a dad of two, two boys. What are the names and how old are so they? So, Ashwin and Ashirwad, you know, I mean, they are uh, lovely names. two heartthrobs. Uh, keeps me really active uh, <laughs> once I go home. So, it's a bit of... How, how old are they? So, one is now 17, the other one is 12. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah. Is parenthood similar to leadership? Look, I think leadership is should be inborn and it, it will come naturally, you know, whether it is in all walks of life, in my view. If you uh-huh. are a good leader, I think it gets reflected in all walks of life. It can't be that you're a you're a good leader in a workplace and you go and you just take that hat off. I, I don't believe right. in it. I mean, it also resonates to me, you know, people keep talking about work-life balance and stuff like that. To me, work and life are the same. You know, I don't think we can ever differentiate work and life. Uh, mm-hmm. So I've got a very understanding family. I've got a very understanding wife. She's the backbone of what I am today because she allows What's me to name? express. Her name is Hindu. Name? Hindu, Hindu. Hindu. Great. And Lovely. she allows yeah, me to much. express what I want to, gives me the freedom to be what I am. Um, because uh-huh. she knows me, I will not change. I'm really, really mad about this whole, uh, you know, the the desire to keep doing the best for insurance industry, and she allows uh-huh. me to do that. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, Sajid, so what I've been doing while listening to you, and we're picking up these little things because we want our viewers to get some uh, lessons, you know, from what we've discussed. And I'm sure there's a lot more we could do, but we're keeping this really short. So, mm. what I got is something that might be interesting for you to write down. You want yeah. to do that? I put an acronym of your name. What I usually okay. do is this. But it's, I've done this right now on the spot. I've written it down. Uh, we start with S. For the leadership yeah. lessons derived from this chat with Sajit. Okay? S yeah. is for uh, strategy. Hmm? Yeah. See, as, as simple as you may be in your uh, being grounded and being based on fundamentals, and talking straight and being sincere. So your S is sincere. Mm. It is also another S, which is strategic. Yeah. Okay? If you look at what you've been doing, you uh, you never said this to me, but I'm sure uh, Hoyden will and your whole team will look up to you for a vision, will look up to you for guidance, will uh, look at you for setting the strategy. You got into an entirely new market, new in the sense, for building the brand of Hoyden. Absolutely. And within the last five to six years, you created a retail brand, which is uh, making waves there. Mm. So congratulations. So S is for sincerity and strategy. Okay. The A, A is for articulate. This is the first thing that struck me. You have a very, uh, very pleasant voice. Uh, now, I've worked with leaders all over the world. And uh, I'm in the field of uh, of motivation and coaching. Uh, so I also have coached several people to become trainers and coaches. Mm. Uh, and I work with, I work with over 1,000 leaders all over the world, personally, wow. one-to-one. And, I saw uh, your CV. So, so, so these, things, these things hit the ear. You know, for me, I catch on to these little things. And your voice is excellent. Uh, I'm sure that if there's any problem, anything that comes up, the moment you start talking, things will settle down by itself. It's a great quality. And you speak very well. That's articulation. Uh, the voice may not have been done consciously. Uh, it may be a gift uh, or it may have been worked on. I don't know. But the mm. articulation is definitely a conscious uh, uh, talent that you've developed. Mm. Uh, how did these communication skills develop over a period of time? Because it's not just about the words. It's about you have thought behind what you're saying. And it comes out very smoothly. No, I, mean, Josh, I think that? this is uh, really nice of you to have kind of uh, identified it. I think uh, maybe a couple of others have said this. Uh, to me, I think what it's the confidence that allows me to talk freely. So if you're clear in your mind, Brilliant. in my view, if Brilliant. you're clear in your mind, right, you know, there is no conflict of interest. You know your vision. And you're right. You know, you need to have a strategy. You need to have a vision. Everything else falls in place. And then, you know, it's just a free connection then straight to that vision. So um, if you are crowded in your mind, in my view, you know, there is deep conflicts. Things would stop. You would not be able to articulate what you want. I believe in it. You know, I, I definitely <laughs> I think, thank you so Sajid, much for bringing it back. Sajid, 
we uh, i have a system called meta mind alignment hmm? yeah which is the uh, science of leadership and happiness okay. and uh, i'm not getting to the rest of it but basically we work to help companies to to improve their productivity by improving their positivity hmm? okay uh, so the uh, but all of this has a purpose unless you have the purpose the positivity productivity will not come so yes. there's another a for you sajid your a is articulate the other a is aim oriented Huh? All right, nice. Thank you. And it's you. so powerful, it's so powerful that the S, you cannot be strategic. The secret behind Sajid's strategic nature is his sincerity and simplicity. Mm. Okay? The secret behind his articulation is yeah. his aim orientation. Mm. Okay? The aim is clear. The clarity gives confidence. The confidence gives communication. Correct. Brilliant. Okay. Well okay. said, Avinash. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all from this conversation huh yeah, and there's so yeah. much for people to get guys if you want to be strategic you need to be simple and sincere you cannot fake it if you want to be articulate and clear in your speech you have to be clear in your thinking clarity of thought precedes clarity of speech yes. j j is uh joy yeah. okay i don't know why this is coming in but uh, we haven't spoken about this but this is coming out very strongly you have to have a certain level of lack of conflict that is mm. you mentioned that when there is conflict again all these things will not come out as clearly mm. Mm. so conflict we have found is unhappiness mm. uh, uh the resolution of conflict is yeah. happiness uh? yeah. and the joy that you have the joy you have the passion you have for your industry when you were speaking about your work and your journey the way you spoke about your kids uh, and your wife your family amazing uh? and this yeah. joy when it exudes outside when it radiates outside it becomes contribution okay yeah. brilliant uh? so that is your j can you yeah. i have only one j you have any other j in mind uh? where is no, creating I, this as we go along thank you got a good j because i was also thinking about you know uh, the inner <laughs> pleasure i get you know what other yeah. word you can give i think the joy is the right word for it lovely uh, lovely i i would say is innovation yeah. uh, which is what you said howden has but yes. i would say more for you is integration so yeah there's there's an integrity within you mm. where you are connecting all the dots your purpose your passion your uh, strategy plan everything is connected in some way so and mm. uh, there is the less the less the confusion and the conflict and lack of clarity the more the uh, the faster things get done it becomes like yeah. a laser yeah yeah, huh? yeah. so i would say innovation and uh, integration like uh, for t t the thing that comes out is tenacity yeah your never give up attitude your persistence uh, your your way of looking at challenges the challenges are mountains so what move the mountains away <laughs> <laughs> or embrace challenge these are great messages yeah. such a such a short time such powerful messages right yeah. <laughs> and then h is you said is no matter what qualities you have no matter what talents you may have which could be another t you have to be honest and you have to be hard working absolutely does this summarize uh, well oh, wow. your name i am i am must I, i mean i'm so surprised and honestly pleasantly surprised avinash it is great summation uh, i can associate with all what you said uh, you know i think um, as a leader what gives me pride is when the team succeeds you know i'm i'm like a you know bunch i i want the team like a bunch of wolf to go in packs but i'm there back behind the scenes trying to adjust the strategy and make so that sure is that the they... other t yeah that's the other t one t is tenacity the other t is team teams uh, team, team yeah, absolutely absolutely 100% i agree with that excellent excellent yeah, yeah, yeah. it was lovely lovely having a conversation with you and i'm sure we'll have many more Avinash, it's a great pleasure. I'll find a way to connect with you because it gives me, we'll like you that. said, you know, your voice is also beautiful to get associated, right? So <laughs> let's find a way to connect later on. Thank you so lovely, much. It was a lovely. pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Cheers. Bye.